Christy. And, and I'm Mao. We are both from Singapore. Yep. Okay. So, uh, what character are you playing for this uh, this time, uh, World Cosplay Sun? Uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen. I'm doing Oh About Yun Feng. And yeah, I'm doing Bahamut, her summon. Okay, 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 okay. So, what, like, why did you start doing cosplay? Hmm. <laughs> why? <laughs> you want to start first? Yeah. Um. I started cosplay four years ago, and when the first time I saw it in Singapore, it was different from what most people do in as a hobby in Singapore. So that's that's why I picked it up, and I also like anime, so that's why I did cosplay. <laughs> For me, I think it was back in 2005. I did a very simple costume, but I quite liked the way people praised me, like, oh, you look like a character, or your costume is very well done. Then subsequently, I picked up sewing also, and I kind of like the work in progress. So now I'm still doing it, and hopefully can continue. So why did you like get addicted to doing the cosplay over the course of the year? What's the yeah? For me, it will be doing armors because I I like the process also of making an armor, a uh, full set. Um, mm. Is the um, it's the thrill when you complete the entire costume and then you get to wear it. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's also good for us because we see cosplayers from all over the world and we only realize that our standard is there. So if we were to just stop there, it would really be yeah, halfway through the process. So we wish to climb higher levels and learn even more techniques. Yeah. So uh, um, have you been to Japan before? Yeah. So. <laughs> when was it? I was two years back. Uh, were you? This is just. No. Uh, how, well, why, why were you here for? I was here for an exchange program for about four months, then I had my internship and I worked here part time. Uh, okay, how about you? Um, I was here in, I think it was 2006 okay. for exchange program or so. Okay. And uh, what was your impression? Uh, did you have some expectation before you first come to Japan and did you have anything that you got surprised by it? Surprise? Generally, I felt that it was quite okay. It's only the train rides that's very scary because everybody is almost pressed to the walls. <laughs> so that is very scary. And then when the train stops working for just one or two minutes, the whole station is just flooding with people. <laughs> that is very scary. Yeah. Other so you, you were in Tokyo? I was in Tokyo. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been you've been in Japan in a while. So uh, what did you what did what do you think about Japan now after you being here for a while? I like Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I think it can be. I can say the same also. Yes. We hmm, hopefully we can live here. <laughs> <laughs> I see. The food is good. So well, now uh, let's move on to the question of uh, World Cosplay Summit. How did you guys get to know about uh, this WCS? It's through mm. our organizer yes. Takahan. Mm. Then uh, he hosts an uh, event in Singapore which is called Cosfest. So he's the one who actually brings contestants from there, the best, to go to Japan. Mm. Yeah. So uh, did you have any secret? to win the uh, competition in Singapore? <laughs> if it's a secret, we can't tell you, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me something. Did you, did you, what, 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 what made you win the competition, you think? I think. Uh, we should ask him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be because his costume is very nice. <laughs> so what do you, do, do, for you, costume is important or performance is important? Both. 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 But do you, do you wait on the eat which side or? Uh, we we try to wear on the costume. And we we love cosplay because of the costume. So yeah, we emphasize more on the costumes and the skin. I see. I see. I see. So uh, uh, you only been to uh, two days of the World Cosplay Summit, and you haven't really experienced that much yet. Mm -hmm. But what do you think so far about this uh, World Cosplay Summit? A lot of media. <laughs> <laughs> something something I've been told about but wasn't quite expecting like interviews and then photos and <laughs> updates. So <laughs> very nervous <laughs> with cameras in front of us. Yeah. 
But this time it's small camera, so it's, yeah. I hope it's okay, right? Yeah. Still, still. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you looking for for the uh, work uh, for World Cosplay Summit next two days? Nothing. Really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be looking forward to all the other international cosplayers because yeah. there are people that I would really like to meet after watching all their videos and all the overseas cosplays because it really seems very good. See them in costume. Yeah, it would be great to see them in real life. Do you think you're gonna win the com? You know, cosplay. Some you, 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 you. We do have you to, to uh, come with a in, with an intent of winning <laughs> because once you lose spiritually, you will lose, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, do you have any secret surprise for this Sunday performance? Ah, you are asking it again. Are uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you a spy no, no, for no, the that Japanese was, That was the Singapore competition. That was the secret. Yeah. Why did you win the Singapore uh -huh. competition? But, do you have any secret surprise for this uh -huh. Sunday? Yes, but we cannot tell you. <laughs> <laughs>